It's Tom from Shore again, and it's time for the next instalment of the Shore Whiteboard Sessions. This time, we're going to be talking about rechargeable technology for wireless microphones and in-ear monitors. Wireless microphones and in-ear monitoring packs all need power from somewhere. The majority of the time, we use a portable cell, like a good old-fashioned AA battery. The reason we use these is because they're very, very easy to get hold of, and they're also very dependable. Previous experiences into rechargeable technology proved less reliable with batteries dying way quicker than you expected. And for this reason, when you want a battery to just work, you always go back to your good old fashioned alkaline dry cell battery. An alkaline battery will discharge at a very, very linear rate. This means that when you've got five bars of battery power on your wireless microphone, it will go five, then four, three, two, one, and eventually die obviously not as quick as that in real life. A rechargeable battery, the consumer type of rechargeable batteries, are like to go five, four, three, two, one's dead. That's no good for productions at all. When you've got four bars of battery left, you would expect it to last another good, maybe five or six hours. When the Shure Axion wireless system was designed about five years ago, Shure decided to build into it a rechargeable solution for the Axion tier of wireless products. And this technology platform, if you like, has given birth to a whole heap of rechargeable technologies used in a bunch of short wireless microphones today. We use medical grade lithium ion cells. We have a little microchip built inside of it, which firstly gives you real-time readings of battery health. This is the overall capacity of the battery compared to what it was at brand new status. The current amount of charge in 1% increments. It also shows you cycle counts. Now a cycle count is the depletion of a battery from 100% to zero and back up to 100, but it's cumulative. So it could be 100, zero, 100, or it could be 190, 100, 10 times. It's estimated that when a battery has completed 500 cycles, it will still be at about 80% health. So if a battery could last 10 hours when it was brand new, after 500 cycles, which gives one full charge per day for about a year and a half, you'll still have about 80% charge left in the battery after a full charge, a full 18 months later. Think about how many double A's that would have been. Little factoid for you. Sure, it involved with the opening and closing ceremonies for the London Olympics a whopping four years ago now. We had a 40 channel Axion wireless system there that was used for about four months or so for all the rehearsals and all of the opening and closing ceremonies, both the main games and the Paralympic games. If we'd used double A's for these shows, they would have been about 26,000 double A batteries used. By having a smart chip inside of each battery, the battery knows exactly how much charge capacity it has left within it. This means on the body pack or the wireless microphone you're using with said battery, it will give you a real-time readout in hours and minutes. This readout is accurate to 15 minutes. So if, you, if the battery was showing an hour left of charge and your show was 30 minutes, you know the battery would be fine. Clearly in the real world, you'd just change it, but it's nice to know that it's gonna be fine. Thank you for watching this short whiteboard series video. To learn more about other products or to subscribe to other videos, please visit shoreblog.co.uk. Thanks.